Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you the Pamper Chef brownie pan and a batter mixer and dispenser. Both of these are really great to have in your kitchen if you love to bake like I do. Um, the brownie pan is really cool because number one, it's non-stick, so you don't have to worry about getting your brownies or whatever you make in this pan out once it's done baking. Um, also, it creates those nice crisp edges that you get only at the edge of the brownie pan if you do it in a sheet pan. Um, but with the brownie pan, it's really cool because all of the edges end up being nice and crisp, which is my favorite part. Um, you can make cornbread, quiches. Uh, I've seen people make mini lasagna and mini pies in here. Um, so the pan is really versatile and you're not just limited to making brownies in it, even though it's called the brownie pan. Um, also, we have the batter mixer and dispenser, which this thing is really cool because you can literally put all of your ingredients in here at once. You just pump the handle and that will mix everything and then you can use this to dispense into each individual cubby. So if you're making um, brownies or cupcakes, uh, waffles, anything where you need to really control how much comes out of the dispenser, this is a great um, tool to use. So let's get started. I'm gonna put this down a little bit so you can see better. Okay. Mm. There we go, that's better. Okay, so you just take the lid off and inside you're gonna see there's this little plate down here that looks like the spokes of a bike wheel. Um, it also comes with a little cap, but we're not gonna use a cap just yet. First, you're gonna wanna put all of your wet ingredients in before your dry ingredients. Um, this is my oil that I have to add and I'm using one of the silicone prep bowls. These come in a set of three. This is a one cup size and then there's a two cup and a three cup. So what you're seeing here is the largest. Oops, right here. This is the largest. And they all fit inside and nest in there very nicely. And they come with this down. Three lids for each one. And then again, they all nest inside, including the lids. And so this is how much cupboard space is taken up with all three prep bowls. These are really nice because you can microwave them. So I microwave butter when I need to melt it. Um, I also microwave chocolate if I need to melt it and then as you can see you can squeeze and control how much of whatever it is that you're melting comes out. So if you're making candy apples and you need to melt caramel, you can just squeeze it and really control how much comes out of the prep bowl. It's nice too because these don't get hot so when I microwave them I don't have to burn my hands or use oven mitts to take it out of the microwave. Okay so let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and put all of our wet ingredients in here first. This is a one cup um, glass prep bowl. I like these um, for when I cut up veggies and I have a little leftover, I just snap the lid on it and throw it back in the fridge so I don't have to worry about storing it anywhere else. Then you're gonna add your eggs. These eggs actually came from my little chickens outside. Okay. So when you go to add your dry ingredients, they can literally fill all the way up to the very tip top. It's okay. You don't have to worry about it not being able to mix if it's too full. I'm gonna just spill a little bit. Okay, so now you're gonna go ahead and you're going to put a lid on and just turn it till it's tight and kind of clicks into place. And then you're just going to pump the handle like this until it's all nice and mixed together. Save as much as that better as possible. All right, now you're gonna need this little lid. So you're gonna snap that on. I always try to do this without getting my fingers dirty and I'm not very successful at it. So when you go to put this back in, you wanna put it at an angle to get all the air out. It just makes it a little bit easier. lid back on okay and then you want to take the bottom lid off and then if you look right here there are three different settings that you can choose from 
So when I make brownies, I usually like to use the largest setting because I'm filling an entire pan. So here is my brownie pan. I don't need to spray it ahead of time. And then you can just go ahead and pull on the handle. And as much as you want to go in each little compartment comes out. All right, so the brownies are all done. And this is what they look like. It turned out perfectly, except for I smushed this one a minute ago. Um, anyway, I used my cake tester to check if they were done or not. You just take the needle end, insert it, and when it comes out clean, you can see that your brownies are all finished. And then this end is really cool because you can use it to kind of loosen up the sides when you go to take out your brownies. Um, let me angle this down so I can show you. There we go. Okay. So you just take the other side of the cake tester and you just kind of push it down around your brownie if it feels like it's kind of stuck in there a little bit. Um, I don't have to do this with every single one of them, but once in a while I'll find one I feel like I need to loosen it up a bit. And then I use my nylon mini spatula. I can just pick it up. I'm kind of taking these out a little bit soon, to be honest with you. They're still a little bit too warm. So when I grab them, I'm kind of smushing them. But if I were to let these cool a little bit longer, I wouldn't have had that problem. So anyway, super easy to take out, again, if they're fully um, cooled down. But I wanted to show you guys our boat press set. So this is the rectangular one, the square one, and the circle one. And these are really cool for brownies, little cakes. Um, I've made twice baked potatoes without the skin. Um, and then I just smoosh down the center and you can put gravy or whatever you want in your mashed potatoes. But what's really cool with the brownies is you can use them um, to smush it down so that you can add um, vanilla ice cream or any other type of topping you want. I've seen people put chocolate in there. It's a little bit too much chocolate for my taste. But anyway, all you do is you take the press piece right here and then you're going to screw it on to whichever one that you want to use. These work with the mini loaf pan and these work with pretty much any muffin tin. And then this one obviously works great with the brownie pan. So you just screw it on there and then you come over and you just push straight down. And then when you pull it up, it's got a nice little indention there so you can put whatever you want in there. So. If I hadn't have pushed it all the way down, it would have been not quite such a deep um, compression in there. But I like to do that so I can put a whole scoop of ice cream in there. So anyway, that's my video for today. If you have any questions, please comment and let me know. Thank you so much. Have a great day.